somewhere in the business world they say that perception is everything um somewhere art mimics real life um my real world experience with feet on the ground on fish island in my life frame met with one person um, that referred to himself with this word that I hear very, it's, it's a confusing word because it's loosely used, um, but it's, uh, there was, and then there was um, the, I think it was the village of Islip, or maybe it was the village of Bayshore, uh, that had Project Nine Line and had a military service and fatigue parade that Benjamin was invited to. Um, that was, for me, a U.S. service parade. That's what I envision it to be um, in the us of either a big brother or a little brother, I don't really know, and I'm a little sister here because I'm confused. I've been out of the touch for a while um, in not knowing how or who or whatever. Um, but now, in the year 2022, with all this other stuff going on, there's a story on Drew Barrymore now, um, this woman says that she's part of this U.S. with the American flag. Now, this gets confusing because, again, in North America, where I am, where they have this United States of America, it gets really confusing because she's not part of my us, although she joins some us that claims to be the army and the military, but I don't know how it functions. Is that part of the, like, push of the invaders to then arm themselves and organize criminally? Because it's what it feels like. If that's the us that's functioning, because there's an us that looks like her that's now at the UN for Security Council, I just don't understand why... They're draped over the North American corridor when the North American corridor has a rock. It has paper. It now has a representative that's moving to the upstairs corridor. And we are a North American envelope. How did the United States get draped over our corridor and start hiring the problem children that arrived? Just curious. And that keep perpetuating the wrong story. I have an anchor. The rest of this is some invention. With artwork, you have an artwork piece. You have an artwork process. There's some authentication. There's some indoctrine or certi the certification with the indoctrine and the seal after you pass some process. If you're in the collection business or artwork dealership, there's benediction of some sort related to that. What I don't understand is how they're allowing non-certifiable invention to almost sidestep the benediction process and to just lay claim where there's no verifiable whatever. Just because you've said that you belong, just because you've painted yourself in a flag, just because you won't leave and you're illegally occupying something doesn't make it a blessed action. You need to have benediction. And currently, there is no place to even begin an invention and a certification and a benediction process for some of the pieces of humanity 
that are laying false claim. It's written in Mount Rushmore stone who the founding fathers and the founding presidents are in this corridor. I have no idea who the U dot S in the us that's working some whatever with labels on the lapel and on the thing. I have no idea how they got hired and for what part of America they're working for because North America has a problem and they're sometimes they're seen in a uniform and sometimes they're seen in a fatigue but there's a very clear distinction between North America Central America South America what I don't understand is why they all have this us and then a problem arises and erupts in the North American corridor aren't afraid to color outside the lines. We actually call them wildflowers. And because today is International Women's Day, we are teaming up with Wounded Warrior Project to introduce you to a rose who is anything but delicate. Meet Donna. My name is Donna Pratt, and I am from O'Fallon, Illinois. I am a retired Army Sergeant, and I am a woman veteran warrior. When I joined the military, right after high school... Now, how was she able to join the military? I'm in North America. So is Illinois. We're in the same corridor, same Mount Rushmore. New York has the same Mount Rushmore that Illinois does. Same paper when you use cash at the store matches some of it, important features of it, the men on the rock wall, and the men that are the architects and the framers of this great nation. What I am confused about is why she was able to get into military services, better education, better career, better job placement, better intelligence community, and yet I've been locked in a room on Fish Island with the benediction. Just curious. I decided that the Army wasn't for me then. I got out in 1998, but after 9-11, I decided to rejoin because I felt like... See right here? It says U dot S army. Again, which us? Because that gets confusing. Is that a hemisphere? Because I know Central America and South America, they have their own flags, their own flagging system. North, uh, the North American continent has two flags, one all the way to the north and one here. There was something more that I needed to be doing. We were deployed to Iraq. I got a chance to be an armorer. I still have no idea what Iraq war was over. There's no intelligence community here. The intelligence community is run by not us. So how am I supposed to know what an Iraq war is over when the broadcast communications and the us, being the U.S., is employing not us and taking over communications, taking over intelligence community, taking over technologies, taking oh, I mean, it's just takeover, 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 takeover. Emergency service and international community, hello? We had a vehicle that was jarred up and down and few weeks later I had vehicle jarring up and down she got hurt it's the same thing that I've got here but with the sonic whatever coming from unknown unbeknown source and here's the respect that Drew Barrymore shows this veteran and listen to what she says now again I have had no access not only to the land military would being the army of the us 
but I've also had no ability to get to Air Force. I love that motto so much. Thank you. You're clearly such a strong person, but why did you decide to join the military in the first place? Oh, that's a funny story. Um, I decided to join the military because I have a cousin. She was in the Air Force. So now we have a cousin in the Air Force and now being able to join the U.S. Army. Hmm. That's interesting. Because in the North American continent, there's some problems going on. I couldn't even figure out entry into those things because the intelligence community has been so riddled with quietness or doesn't exist. I'm not quite sure. Now you hear me, I said she. She was in the Air Force. She was my role model. Um, I saw her in the uniform. I saw her going places all over and it looked so glamorous and it looked like, you know, in my eyes that uh, the military was the place to be. And she looked not just, she looked so studious, she looked important. And I wanted to be like that. So that's one of the reasons why I joined. That is my sentiment when I think honorably of the military in the way that I'm sure that they would like to be thought of. What I have a problem with is when I turn on the television and none of the facts and diction matches any good ratio or reality for what the anchors and the landscape was designed to support. It's just all of this art imitating whatever, trying to repaint over. But there are specific anchors in this reality, in this land area and territory that go in the counterintuitive direction of what they're trying to sell or what they've done in order to knock out any competition or any of the structure that was already in place. It's been infiltrated. I don't have another word for it. They filtered their way in, put themselves in really strategic positions, and blocked access to people like myself. I've had a whole lifetime full of it. My parents had a lifetime full of it. Not that my dad wanted to join the military, but still, there could have been some kind of... I mean, he didn't have to hold a gun, but there could have been some kind of, like, function he could have helped out with. I mean, again, I don't really know what this military word means in Millinar. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterosa. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. But what in area has presented itself as military, one, was Eric. And then Eric disappeared. Port Jeff, Thomas Jefferson, then disappears. Never to be seen or heard from again. I don't know why. Whole storyline changes to Tia Frio 2010. And my life hates the fucking shitter again. And here we are in 2020. 22, after some 2016 event where I went through something called a world of hurt and I'm still encountering it daily. Moon went missing. I'm not even going to count the days anymore. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. Breathing is incredibly difficult here and um, my knees are swollen and it is just difficult to move. It's like that X-Men movie with the adhesion where there's some kind of combination or yeah, a surgical adhesion between your human and the atmosphere that you're trying to move through where it is taking and damaging your body as you're moving through it. That's what it feels like at this point. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruzzo.